So many of you are going to be shocked that you're going to get this basic math problem incorrect. And the only rule here is you cannot use a calculator. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. We have uh, two fifths divided by two divided by one third. Now, if you want to take up this challenge, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm going to fully explain the solution to this problem. And I'm gonna highlight a particular area where uh, most of you who um, are going to get this wrong, this is probably the uh, part of the problem that you made a error. And it's a very common error, but of course I'll get to all that in just one second. But before we start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as that definitely helps me out. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Now, probably the most common answers will be these two fractions here. Now, if you have an answer other than these fractions, unfortunately, we're gonna to have to give you a little sad face. Don't despair because once this video is over with, you will understand everything. But uh, probably again, the most common answers are gonna be these two right here. So one is right and one is wrong. And uh, which person here can celebrate their basic math skills? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. Is it 1 15th? Well, in fact, it is 3 fifths. This is the correct answer. But if you answered 1 15th, uh, don't totally get uh, down on yourself because you probably demonstrated uh, some pretty good skills, but you made this common error, which I'm gonna be talking about. But anyways, if you got this problem right, we must celebrate by giving you an A plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of basic mathematics. They'll be like, wow, that is so impressive. I'm gonna take you out to lunch. All right, now let's go ahead and get into this problem. And again, we're not going to use our calculators, but I am gonna explain how you can check this result using a calculator, okay? Because a lot of you uh, are gonna probably say, you know what, I think he's wrong. I'm gonna plug this into my calculator and then you're gonna get a result which is not going to be the actual result of this problem. Okay, so I'll uh, explain what I'm gonna be talking about here in just a second with the calculator. But what we have in this particular problem is we're dividing fractions, okay? So for those of you that just kind of totally forgot this stuff, no big deal. Let's quickly review just how to divide fractions because if you don't remember how to do this, you're not going to remember how to do this problem. All right, let's take this quick example, 3 eighths divided by 1 half. So when you are dividing fractions, we don't really divide fractions per se. What we're gonna do is change this problem into a multiplication problem, okay? So the way we do that is we take the fraction to the right of the division symbol and we flip it upside down. So in this particular uh, case, our fraction is one half. We're gonna flip it upside down, so that's gonna be two over one. All right, now at this point, we need to know how to multiply fractions because we still have to figure out three eighths times two over one. So how do we multiply fractions? Very, very easy. Uh, we just simply multiply the respective numerators, which are the top numbers in the fraction, over the denominators, which are the bottom numbers. So that's gonna be three times two over eight times one. And of course, this would be six over eight. But you always want to simplify your fractions, which of course will be the fraction three fourths, right? Now here, some of you could say, well, two goes into eight four times, so that would just give us three fourths. And that is excellent if you saw this opportunity to cross cancel. All right, just, just a quick uh, review of fractions because some of you um, out there just forgot this stuff. You haven't been doing you know arithmetic basic math for years. So it's not like you don't know how to do this. You just kind of are a little bit rusty, no big deal. All right, now let's go ahead and take the next step here, which of course is uh, doing the problem, right? Now that we know how to divide fractions, let's go ahead and do the problem. So we got two division problems here. So I'm gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna start right here, right? I just feel like starting the problem uh, right here. So this would be two divided by one third. 
So let's go ahead and start right here. Now, a lot of you probably, you know, did this step. And uh, let's see where this uh, result takes us. So two divided by one third. Now, the first thing here that we want to recognize is that we have this number divided by a fraction. So anytime you wanna um, take a number and think of it as a fraction, like the number two, just put it over one, okay? So really, this is uh, the fraction two over one uh, divided by one third, okay? So let's just kind of make this super clear. Two over one divided by one third. Now, how do we do division of fractions? Well, I just reviewed that, right? We're going to take this division operator and turn into multiplication by flipping this fraction upside down. So this is gonna be two over one times this one over three is going, is going to become three over one. So two over one times three over one is nothing more than two times three or six. All right, so we did this work right here and the answer is six. All right, so let's continue on. Now we have two fifths divided by six and where is this gonna take us? Well, again, we have another uh, division of fraction situation. Again, we have to think of six as six over one. So this is now going to become two fifths times. We're gonna flip this upside down. So that's gonna be one over uh, six, one six. And now we just simply multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So this is gonna be two times one is two and five times six is 30. And of course we could do, uh, reduce that fraction to one fifteenth. Some of you said, well, can we just take this two and that goes into that six three times. So that's one over 15 and there you go. Now we did all this work correct, all this division of fractions, everything here is uh, correct, but what is uh, not right with this problem, okay? What's not right with this problem is that we started right here, okay? The order that we did this problem is wrong. All the kind of, um, you know, all these steps that we took to do this fraction stuff is actually correct, okay? But we just took the wrong order and this is where a lot of um, students, uh, well, they struggle because uh, we're talking about the order of operations. So if, if people have a tough time in basic math, oftentimes it's because uh, they don't um, uh, really understand the order of operations. And I'm going to make that clear right now. Before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can. But the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style, and if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you, well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description, but they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, do this problem uh, correctly. But before we can do this problem right, we need to understand the correct order. And that brings us to our lovely PEMDAS acronym. Okay, this is referred to as PEMDAS, all right? It's an acronym, i.e. these are letters that stand for something. And there's a lovely little memory aid that goes along with this. It is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm not sure what uh, Aunt Sally uh, did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase. This thing has been around for decades. Uh, but let me go ahead and explain this to you because this is the order of operations. In other words, in mathematics, when we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, powers, and the like, uh, we have to take the correct order uh, in order to, uh, f to get the correct result, right? So you can just see here, we did this prompt starting here. That was the wrong order. So how do we know the correct order? We have to use this PEMDAS. All right, so this PEMDAS is a checklist. It goes from left to right, and these uh, letters stand for something. So let's just quickly go through this. Uh, P stands for parentheses. So if you see any parentheses in your prompt, you're going to start there and that would include brackets like this or brackets like this, okay? All right, so that's where you're gonna first start, but we don't have any parentheses, uh, so we can kind of skip that. E is powers, all right? So we don't have any powers as well, but some of you might be saying, well, E, uh, that doesn't mean powers. Well, this is two to the third power. This little part of the power is called an exponent, and this part right here is called the base. This entire thing 
is called a power. So two to the third power. So exponents as powers, we don't have that. Now we're going to get to the part of this problem where a lot of people are going to be uh, confused. And that is this part, multiplication and division. So uh, oftentimes, well, let me just first of all tell you what MD and S stand for. This is multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So most people think that you're going to work uh, from left to right, strictly from left to right. And if you knew that, you should have uh, took this step right here. You should have did this correctly, which is going to be uh, taking this step first. But right here, uh, if I change this problem to multiplication right here, okay, instead of division, students would have made this error, okay, because they think multiplication always comes first. That's not the case. It's whatever you see first from left to right. So if we see multiplication, then division, we'll do it that way. But if we have division before multiplication from left to right, we'll do it this way. But the bottom line here is that we have to work from left to right. And then A and S, addition and subtraction, work the same way. All right, so this is the order of operations. And if you took the wrong order, no big deal. Now you know the correct order. So let's go ahead and do this problem correct right now. All right, so we have... Uh, uh, correctly, excuse me. Uh, so we have two fifths divided by two divided by one third. So the order of operations is I'm going to start from left to right. I have division and division. So let's go ahead and do this now. So we have two fifths divided by two, or this is going to be two over one, right? So I'm dealing with fractions. So I'm going to change this um, multiplication into, I'm sorry, this division operator into multiplication by flipping this fraction right here. So that's going to be one over two. And when I multiply across, I'm going to get 2 over 10, or these 2s can cross cancel. 2 tenths is the same thing as 1 fifth. All right, so this is our answer. And by the way, if I'm going a little bit uh, fast in terms of all this uh, fraction, basic math stuff, and you're like, you know, I, I'm confused, let me give you a quick suggestion. If you want to review basic mathematics, check out my Math Foundations course. It's a little mini uh, math course. It's like a math boot camp for basic math. You'll find the link to it in the, uh, the description below. But I go over all the basics, decimals, place value, fractions, order of operations, etc., etc. Okay, so we just did this right here, and we got one-fifth. Okay, so the problem now is two-fifths divided by two. We did this right here because we're doing this from left to right. We got one-fifth. Now we just have to figure out what one-fifth divided by one-third is. And again, we're going to have to change this division into multiplication and flip this fraction to the right. So let's going to do that now. So we got one-fifth divided by one-third. And this, again, is going to go to multiplication by flipping the fraction to the right. So that's going to become three over one. And then when I uh, multiply the respective numerators and denominators, we're going to get three over five or three-fifths. Okay, so there you go. That's how you do this problem uh, without the aid of a calculator. And uh, don't feel bad if you, um, you know, got this wrong. Certainly, that's not the objective of my videos. And what I'm trying to do is teach you something. And let me go ahead and now uh, talk about uh, using a calculator, okay? So let's suppose you're like, ah, I think this YouTube math man, I think he's wrong. I'm right, but I'm going to put this into my calculator. Well, uh, don't make this error when you're using your calculator, okay? Now, uh, there's a, a variety of different type of calculators out there that you can use, but when you're plugging in fractions, okay, into your calculator, uh, you want to use parentheses. So in other words, to do this problem in your calculator, you want to use parentheses and then two divided by five and parentheses. This is how you express two fifths, okay? So when you want to uh, plug in a fraction uh, explicitly, use parentheses and you would go divided by, you could go divided by two, okay? And then divided by this fraction. So that'd be parentheses one divided by three. All right, so that's just a little kind of uh, extra bonus tip on using your calculators because some of you are gonna be like, you know what? I think he's wrong, I'm right. I'm gonna plug it into my calculator because if you don't plug this into your calculator correctly, you'll get a wrong answer. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.